all countries or regions around the world before modernization took over. One could look at a particular style of a house, building, or place of worship and identify the country it came from. The kind of building material depended on what was available in the area. The number or size of windows, the style of roof, gable, flat, hip, or the building design depended on the kind of climate the structure was located in. Style and decoration of the building depended on kind of art or craftsmen found in the area. Thai once called the Kingdom of Siam also had its own kind of architecture. The special designs made the buildings very Thai. In their appearance, today these special materials and traditional designs on Thai houses and buildings are being replaced with modern designs that match other cities around the world. We should like to point out traditional designs and materials that were once found in Thai buildings and temples. And behold, traditional buildings in Thailand can be saved for future generations to see. Hello, I'm going to explain about Thai traditional houses. There are steep gable roofs. Steep gable roof is the generally triangular portion of the wall between the edges of a sloping roof. There are many kinds of roof tiles. Examples are made of clay, wood, and straw. There are kinds of clays. Clays are shaped carved wood that are on the top of a tile house. They are believed to scare away the crows. They are found in North Thailand houses. Silts are formed because when floods come to their village, water won't get in to flood the house. And when there is a library, they put the library on water because of termites from eating the books. Also, stilts are made to keep out animals from coming. Many traditional Thai houses have large windows. The traditional Thai houses are for the breeze to go through. Veranda or terraces are places where you have a conversation or a meeting. They are part of Thai houses. It is a square wooden floor in the open. There are panels on Thai houses called wooden panels. They are on Thai houses walls. There are open ceilings for air circulation in the Thai houses. The air circulation in the house makes the house cool, not the fashion cool. The roof is taken off. Raised thresholds are shaped like a small stair. They are used to keep the bad spirits out. Decorative wood carvings are carvings that are carved on walls. They usually carve the battle of Ayutthaya and Thailand. Special door locks that are designed on old Thai houses. They are special because they are different from modern times. The special door locks look like a pig that goes in and out of a lock. The wood is thin. Long overhangs or long roofs on Thai houses are used to block out the sun. It shades the windows to not get the house too hot. Catchment for the rain are large clay jars that can catch the rain. They have square shaped wooden board that are for closing it. There are special concrete or wooden columns. They are special because they are very old styled. They hold up the buildings. They are often found outside of palaces. Multi-tiered gable roofs are used for palaces and temples. Glazed tiled roofs are for only temples and palaces. Trophos are supposed to be on the roof of traditional Thai house, palaces or temples. Nagas are similar to trophos, but they are on the end of a gable roof. Decorative carved barge boards are barge boards that are decorated by carving it. Decorated eave brackets hold the Thai roof like a column. Spire roof are pointy Thai style or temples and palaces. Thank you for watching. I hope you will learn something.